So hi again folks, I'm putting together a, uh, a map of the park over here for you. I'll show it to you in a second. You all know what the park looks like anyway, but we're going to take a little walk through. Uh, we're talking about Atta Rooms down at Knights Beach in uh, Dunville, Ontario. And this is going to go towards, uh, partially towards some of my defense. Uh, Mr. Yon is going to say this and any other explanations uh, mean nothing. The bottom line is I made defamatory statements, uh, which I have never denied, and those defamatory statements are what I'm on going to trial for. And none of this other stuff matters. So it doesn't matter what Night Speech did. It doesn't matter what the Wasserman said, Edward or David or Marvin. It doesn't matter what Marlene promised or didn't promise. None of those things matter. I said, I made defamatory statements. I'm going to take the argument that I don't deny, first off, I don't deny for a second that I made defamatory statements. And when I was sent a letter by Mr. Yellen asking me to stop, I did. I took those statements down. I didn't take the website down. I didn't take the YouTube channel down. But I took the defamatory comments down. I'm going to argue to the court that I think I should have the right to explain why I made the statements. And in particular, statements that Mr. Yellen called defamatory, which I argue are not defamatory, I think I should very especially there be able to explain why I made those non-defamatory statements, which by the way, I also took down out of a courtesy to Mr. Yellen in the letter that he sent. So anyway, we're going to talk about Atta Rooms. We went to the park. Uh, we went down to look at three trailers that were up for sale. Uh, and that was, I think, lot 295. That one I'm not positive about. I think it's 295. That's a lot that goes down to the water, and there's a big tree right there at the edge of the beach. Lot 133, which ultimately is the lot Karen purchased or rented and the trailer that she purchased. And also lot number 135. So we'll, we'll talk about all that. And uh, the fact that we went to the park and we went, met with Marlene and Marlene took us on a tour of the park. Now, Marlene claims on that tour she did not say Karen could have an Atta room. So let's go from there. There's where Marlene works. We pull into the park, we go through the security gate, we come into, uh, there's a little bit of parking right in here, and here's where we are. We go in, we say hi to Marlene. Karen's already phoned, made an appointment. She knows who we are, why we're there. That's all good, it's all normal. Marlene says, come on, I'm going to give you a tour of the park. So, we hop into an ATV. Can I make a side note here? What is it, a Kubota diesel? God, those things are loud. Uh, you know, loud, crude diesel 4x4. Four four. I mean, man, oh man. You know, you're in a pretty flat park. Why don't you have electric, you know, the, the, the uh, four-seater golf carts, electric golf carts, they're quieter. Be a lot, uh, a lot more courteous to the uh, visitors at your park and the tenants at your park. And not nearly so noisy. But anyway, okay, sorry. As always, I digress. So Marlene, Karen, and myself, we hop into our ATV. She tells us, gives us a little spiel about the restaurant and the patio and the arcade. Of course, she drives us down this way, past the parking lot. Explains about the children's playground and how there's all these sites over here. And there's camping over here and so on. And she continues to drive us down here. And then we come over this way and we park right here. So park number one, and we look at, I believe now, I could be mistaken, but 
Lot 295. It was a big old trailer. No out of room, but it was a large trailer. But older, could have used some work. The lot was kind of cool, uh, with a tree down at the bottom. It almost felt like a cottage. So that was pretty cool. But when we took a look at that, fair enough. Back into the ATV, you know, after a good, a good thorough look at that. Back into the ATV, and we come over here to lot 133 and 135. So Karen takes a look at 133. Again, there's no outer room. It's got a nice large deck. It's wide open to the beach. Uh, looks promising other than the fact that it's too small. It's a one bedroom unit. Um, it's got, you know, the living room can be converted off, divided off to make a sleeping area, but it's pretty tight. And Karen wants to have her adult married children be able to come by for the weekend. Probably not all four of them at once, but nonetheless a couple. So a little more privacy would be nice um, if she wants to have her one of her girlfriends to come over or whatever uh, at any time. Needs a little bit more space. And then there's this other unit here, 135. And ultimately, I believe the owners ended up selling the trailer and I think he bought this trailer and moved it over there so the lot became unavailable. Uh, this was much more of a travel trailer, the kind of thing you'd pull behind a truck, uh, move from park to park and that's not really what Karen was looking for. Uh, it was nice and it was almost new but um, oh, it was definitely too small, even smaller, even smaller than the one at lot 133. So this is the area of biggest contention, is the Atta rooms. Uh, the idea was that Karen said, well, this one would work, this one bedroom unit would work, if she had an Atta room on it, because then that would give her the second bedroom, a proper bedroom. Any reason we can't do that? Well, this is where we get into the big argument where Marlene said, no, no, she never said you could have an Atta room. Uh, we say that she did say that you could have an ad room. Uh, it's you know he said she said blah 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 blah, and it, it just could go on endlessly. And who do you believe? Who does the judge believe? Uh, is there anyone? Does he believe Marlene over me or me over Marlene? I mean, it, it gets silly. So let's just look at this from a different point of view. First off, Karen only bought the trailer and lease that lot on the basis that she could have an ad room. She wouldn't have done it otherwise because it didn't allow any space for friends or family. And remember, for the park, friends and family are a bonus because they charge extra for all those people. For every minute you're there, you have to pay for that. Not just the tenant, not just the primary tenant, but all the guests have to pay as well. So I'm arguing that Marlene said we could construct another room. Marlene says, no, she didn't say that. Okay, fair enough. Let's just leave it that way for the moment. Because Marlene did give us a tour of the park. Like I say, we started up here in the office. We came down this road. We went past all these trailers. She discussed them a little bit as we were driving. Then she comes over and shows us this one, 295. I'm, I'm guessing it was 295. Shows us 133 and 135. That process was took some time, probably 45 minutes, maybe more, to look through all of those. She then drove us down through here, brought us down to uh, this walkway, and there is a driveway that I'm missing here somewhere where they have the boat launch. Oh, there's the boat launch. So she came all the way down to the bottom here. Is that even still in the picture? I'm not sure that it is, but she came all the way down to the bottom and showed us the boat launch, drove us back through the more inner part of the park and back to the office where we sat down and discussed making a deal. So let's just assume, even if Marlene said nothing about out of rooms, let's just talk about what we saw driving through the park. 
So I'm not doing this in any particular order here. Oh, okay, so here we go. I've got a lot 295, so it, it would have been probably a lot 296, okay, that we looked at. Because here's lot 295. So that's, I'm going to, I'm going to pop these pictures up uh, on the, in the video. But you'll see this one. There's lot 295. That. is the main body of the trailer that is an add a room here we go 295 here's lot 293 now at lot 293 is here this is the last lot and then you have that little park area so here's lot 293 and there's their main trailer and the fencing that goes around the property keeps their cool dog in and they're at a room now this one's of particular interest because this was remember this was all in 2019 and that at a room was installed in 2019 even though they're not allowed now like I said we're not going in any particular order here I'm bouncing all over the place Draw, uh, drove us by this one, lot 161. Where are you? Uh, one, six, one, six, two. Well, I apologize, I'm not finding 161. Now, the house says 161 on it. But I know that this is in the inner part of the park. Where the heck is 161? My goodness. Anyway. Here's another one. Main trailer, add a room. I've got it marked as 161, but I can't find 161 on here. I apologize. It doesn't really matter considering how many more of these we have with. Here's another one. Boom. Main trailer, add a room. Here's lot 132. So we're back here again, 132, right beside, no, that's not, it can't be 132, because 132 didn't have an adder room, 137, maybe 137, 137 is what I'm going for, and there's 137's neighbor. And they're at a room. When we come back over into the middle of the park again, with a vacant lot beside it, another at a room. And again, we're in the middle of the park. Uh, I don't have all these lot numbers because I don't know exactly which ones they are. But again, we're in the middle of the park, another at a room. Here's another one. Add a room. I'm sorry, I know this is tedious, boring, and everything else. Here's lot 55. Now we got lot 55. Oh, again, I'm not finding anything, am I? 55, 55, way over here on the side of the park. Lot 55. I think this is lot 54 that I'm pointing out here. With its add a room. And what are we going here now? This is along that same line, uh, somewhere down over in here. Again, another add a room. Here's lot 65. This is clearly marked in this picture. So we're going up here now. Now we're here. Lot 65. There's another add a room. Isn't this horrendously boring? Now we're back on the water here, I believe. Yeah, we are. Back on the water. I don't know which lot number this is. But again, there's an add a room. And then there's down at the end. And this is down in here. I don't think well, you can't see it now. When you get down on the, the point, so down where the boat, uh, 
boat parking and the boat launch are, there's uh, four lots facing the water. And they're at the extreme end of the park down, like pointing out onto the lake on that little breach that's there. That's these guys. And you'll notice there's, every one of them has an adder room. Here we are at lot number 153. Right here, 153. Right on the water. Add a room and a very large shed to go with it. I think this one's lot 157. I've got a question mark on it. But I think it's here, 157, just before you get to the drive through to the boat launch. But again, main trailer, add a room, big shed. And this is in the 1 4 range. Uh, so somewhere along in here, one of these trailers. Again, there's the main trailer, there's the adder room there, and the guy in his Ford pickup truck. I believe this is also in that same stretch around the 140 range. Again, main trailer and adder room. So what's my point? Well, the point is we didn't see one or two adder rooms. I believe, and I can be corrected on this, but I believe my count was 38 adder rooms. So, with Marlene giving a tour of the park to Karen, and Karen seeing 38 adder rooms, why wouldn't she just assume she can have an adder room? How can you say adder rooms aren't allowed when you've got a minimum of 38 of them in your park? Parks is just chock full of them, and then we go back to this lot 293, right here under the pile, and that was the one that we stopped at, and the gentleman called out to Marlene and to us the name of the company he bought the Atta Room from. Another part of this we get into, and I brought this up in another video, in the last video I think, is coming to the Government of Canada false and misleading representations. I talked about the uh, uh, the impact fee and that being a false and mis uh, misleading representation. And the fact that you could drive us through the park showing us all these things that everyone else has but you can't have. I think that falls under false and misleading, but I'm going to do a little more homework on that one first. So let's come back to this other point I was about to make though. And that is why for 2020, and remember this all happened in 2019, but why is it a new rule was brought into effect for 2020 that adder rooms are no longer allowed? So I'm going to make an assumption that the park decided to rule out adder rooms because despite all the warnings they'd received in the past before 2019, from the Haldeman Building Department about the fact that all the adder rooms and the decks that were high enough that they required railings were all illegal. They were all built without permits. But even with the warnings, the washermans continued to allow people to build stuff, to put on the adder rooms, to build the decks, and so on and so forth. The tenants, the trailer owners, they didn't know any better. They didn't know they required a building permit for what they were doing. They just saw all this other stuff around them. Let's just say number one cheated. Well, number two, three, and four just followed suit. So, because no one said otherwise, the washermen didn't say, no, you can't do it. They went on like that for years. So the washermen knew it was illegal. And it really wasn't until the building department put their foot down and threatened big fines tonight's speech that they decided they better do something about it. But even then, they didn't fully come up with the facts. They just said, no, out of rooms aren't allowed. Well, I'm seeing them all over the park. What do you mean they're not allowed? They're right here in front of me. They're in my face. If they're not allowed, then why do these people have them? And they didn't bother to explain any of it. They just said, no more adder rooms. If you put in an adder room, you're evicted. And that was it. And that's all they did. So my point in this video is the simple fact that 
we took a long tour of the park, thought about if it was suitable for what Karen wanted, if the price fit into what she wanted to pay, and so on. Uh, we weighed off the fact that adding the cost of the add -a room, what would, that would be, and the fact that she could have an add -a room allowing her to do what she wanted to do. Um, and that's how she came to her final decision. And you can argue until you're blue in the face that, uh, oh no, the washerman's told you you can't have an add -a room, but she would not have bought the trailer if they had said that. Absolutely, no question, she would not have bought the trailer if they said she couldn't have an add -a room. And there was no reason to think she couldn't have an add -a room after walking through the park and seeing add -a room after add -a room after add -a room. Unbelievable.